Hey guys, I'm Jeff and you're watching Valley Fish and uh, just gonna give you a few little updates. Uh, two weeks ago, we put this uh, hang on the back filter on uh, the Pleco tank that had the su sand substrate. And after I made that video, I thought about it. This tank, I had never washed the sand when it came from Menards. I just put it in, added a whole bunch of guppies, never had problems, put in a whole bunch of baby blue eye uh, plecos, and they kept stirring it up. I, uh, I did pack the, uh, let me flip it over and I'll show you. So I did pack the filter with this polyfill. It's just pillow stuffing that I got from Walmart. You can see it's pretty loaded up and pretty full. And there'll be probably a lot that falls out when I switch it. It's kind of like cleaning a uh, sponge filter. But I've changed that three times in two weeks and it needs it again. As you can see, the overflow, whoa, overflow is really full. So I'll do that probably some point this weekend. But the tank is looking clearer than it has in a really long time. You can actually see my super red little Ligia. And let's see. Oh, they were all out till I scared them. But all these little blue eyes. Growing up pretty good. They're about ready to get moved to a 20. As soon as that project is done. But they're looking good. I need to get another breeding pair. I only have one right at the moment. But I do have lots and lots of those little blue eyes. Oh, they're all gonna be shy hiding. But multiple generations. That's the second tank of them. But uh, I was talking about 20s. I got it up on blocks, I'm painting the bottom. All the square tubing, you would not think is that big a project to paint, but it takes forever. So anyways, I got it uh, somewhat painted. Hopefully by the end of the weekend I'll be done. Kind of just taking it layers at a time and keep doing coats. And This came from an old Earl May store. So if you can imagine 12, 20 highs on this rack, that'll be pretty sweet. And it's going to go right up against this wall. So that will be in the near future. Got a, a whole pile of tanks. Getting them all drilled and gonna get them painted and lots of lots of projects. But this is my little fish room dungeon. And this will be a 12, 10 gallon rack as soon as I get that last tank over. 75 and all these tanks are gonna go on the identical rack on this wall. It'll be 10s, 10s, and then a 40. That's what I'm thinking I'm doing. So, lots of projects. I don't know what else to tell you. Um, so, when I did a water change in the last week, I drained the water down. And I just siphoned it into this tank, and now it has a haze. So, I got to repeat that process and do it into a bucket. But all these tanks are drilled, and they go into a PVC header back there. I think everybody falls along is pretty familiar with this rack. Did a lot of trimming of the moss. Tuffed it back there so it's not looking that great, but added some to the uh, red cherry shrimp so that they have some. They, uh, I've seen all kinds of buried females, so hopefully get some fry from them, get shrimp going. That'll be one of the big things I want to do with the rack. I just made a short video of this tank, of the full reds. There's some albino and not albino. It's a pretty good looking tank. But everything's kind of going through transition to switch into the new water, but everything's pretty good. I like the look of that brick in that one. That might be silly, but. And like Crips melted all the way bound, but they're, they're coming back. Gonna have to trim that super red pretty soon. I uh, got one stem of it. I got all my Nubias still floating, hanging out. Tried tucking it down in the stick pile, but when I'm done with that hang on back, I'll probably move it down there if doing a big water change on that tank doesn't clean it up. But yeah, they're coming back out. 
after I touched that hang on back, I spooked them all. So the uh, the guppies in here sure love them algae wafers, and then pluckos are just getting brave enough that they're like, hey, those are for us. So they're starting to come out. All right, guys. Well, that's kind of what's going on. I was going to tie the ponds into this video, but I seen we were almost up five minutes and really hadn't talked about anything. So I'll make a solo video tonight when I go up and I do the feeding. But I don't know much else that I should, didn't show you. But I think I might drop down and show you the crypt tank, see how that's doing. And then uh, I'll let you guys go. So thanks for watching and sticking out up this far. Bye. This is my starburst line, and uh, it needs a lot of work. This is one of the things that's going to go in the 20 rack and work on it harder. Starting to get a little bit of hair string algae, but I just stick a coat hanger in there and pull it out, and it comes right out. But crypts are doing really well, bouncing really, really good. I was worried about them all melting off, and the airline system is <laughs> still a disaster, but. I'll get that figured out eventually and I might get a linear piston pump but I'm not big enough yet for that so there's kind of the other view it gets a lot of sunlight but on them crips and they're looking good but you'll see more videos when I break this tank down I'm gonna turn it into 220s instead of a 29 all right I'm gonna let you go thanks for watching